Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid clipping in Reaper. Now, this video is kind of a continuation of my gain staging video, which you should check out if any of this confuses you. But to review it a bit, I started off with a piano and I showed you that even if we clip our audio through our channel, go into the master, we could still fix it on the master fader or with the master fader effects. Let me show you. Here's a piano here. So if we crank it like 24 dB, it's going to distort. We can fix that distortion either by bringing it down on the fader or doing it on the master or the master effects. So if we go to the effects on the master and search volume, we can use a volume plugin or a trim plugin and bring the volume down right here. Let's go down 16 and now listen to it. It sounds perfect. And it's not overloading on the output, which is all that really matters. Even though it's overloading or clipping on the channel or in the item right here, we can fix it on the master fader or the master fader effects. But to use this in practice, let's go to a full song. I have a track right here, and let's hear what it sounds like. I would break the last frontier to get to you. I'll get you here. Nothing's gonna keep me far from you. Sounds pretty good. Not distorted. But if we check the master track for this project, let's watch this meter right here. I would break the last frontier to get to you. I'll get you here. It's overloading or clipping quite a bit. Almost 8 dB. Now, when you're dealing with a full song or a full project, you want a quick way to see how much you're clipping or how much more gain you can add. We could do this by using rendering. Let's go over here to the file menu and go down here and choose render. Now you can set this all up the way you prefer, but for checking levels, all we have to do is choose this. Go up here and choose full speed offline. And it doesn't matter where we render this, we're not going to keep the file. We're just going to check it. So we can check the whole project or the whole song very quickly. So now go down over here and render it. And we can see our level right here. The left side goes over by 7.7 .7 dB, and the right side is over by 6.9. So we want to bring it down by about 8 dB. So we can close this, go to our master fader, and go to the effects. And we can see on this song, we have a compressor plugin on there, but we can still add a volume plugin to this chain. Just double click over here, search volume, and we can choose a volume plugin right here. Now, if we put this before our compressor, it's going to affect the threshold on that compressor. Watch it right here. I would break the last frontier to get to you, I'll get you here. It's compressing quite nicely as we can see here and over here. We can see the gain reduction. I would break the last frontier. So if we go to this plugin before it and make it minus eight to avoid clipping, it's gonna affect that compressor. I would break the last frontier to get you. So it's not compressing the same way. So we wanna put it after it. Let's put it here. Now the compressor is working the same, I would break the last frontier. but now our output is going to be correct over here. I would break the last frontier to get to you. I'll get you here. Nothing's gonna keep me far from you. And because we checked to get that level for the entire project or the entire song, we know it's not going to go over. And we could double check it by rendering it again. And watch the level over here. We still have some headroom. It's not going over or clipping. So we know we're good. 
So by doing it this way, we could avoid clipping on the master two bus or on our project or on our final mix. But there's one other thing I want to show you. Let's close all this. A lot of times people will use, instead of a volume plugin, they'll use a limiter or a brick wall limiter. Let's remove this one and do that instead. We'll search limiter and we can use the one right here, the JS master limiter. And what's going to happen, even if we set our threshold to zero, it's going to soft limit to avoid overs. I would print the last frontier to get to you, I'll get you near. Now you can do it that way, but the algorithm that's being used isn't really necessary. So I'd recommend doing instead, if you really want to use a brick wall limiter, just start off before it with a volume plugin and get it set so there's no overs. I would print the last frontier. And then if you really want to add a brick wall limiter, do that after the volume plugin right here. And you can use anything you want. I kind of like the Stillwell plugin, Event Horizon, and you can use it for soft clipping or limiting so the mix will be louder. I would print the last frontier to get to you, I'll get you near. Nothing's gonna keep me far from you. But the benefit of doing it this way, by lowering it before it gets in there, we know we're not clipping before we hit that limiter. So we don't have to soft limit to avoid overs. We can just use limiters for their sound or with a brick wall limiter to make the mix sound louder. I would print the last frontier to get to you, I'll get you near. Nothing's gonna keep me far from you. Ooh. But by doing it this way, we're avoiding clipping or overs in our mix. And again, we can check it by going to rendering, just run one full speed offline, and see the meter right here. And that's gonna happen even if we turn off our limiter. It's still not gonna go over. Just like that. So by doing it this way, we don't have to play the whole song down or the whole project. We can just render it very quickly and see our final levels right here. So that's how you set your level for your song or your project on your master to avoid overs or clipping in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!